In this lesson, we will cover a range of infrastructure considerations, from device placement to firewall types, and discuss how they contribute to overall security. Device placement is critical for security. Strategically placing devices can enhance security and performance. For instance, placing servers in a locked, climate-controlled room prevents unauthorized access and environmental damage. Security zones segment the network to control access and restrict movement across the network. For example, a demilitarized zone DMZ, between an internal network and the internet can host public-facing servers, adding an extra layer of security. The attack surface of a network includes all the points where an unauthorized user can try to enter data or extract data. Minimizing the attack surface, such as limiting open ports and disabling unnecessary services, reduces vulnerabilities. Connectivity is crucial for business operations, but also introduces risks. Failure modes like fail open, where a system defaults to allowing access during failure, and fail closed, where it denies access, need to be carefully considered based on the criticality of the services. Device attributes determine their role in security. Active devices like firewalls actively block traffic, while passive devices like IDS only monitor. Inline devices sit directly on the communication path, actively filtering traffic, whereas tap monitor devices passively observe the traffic. Network appliances like jump servers provide a controlled access point to other devices. Proxies add a layer of abstraction and control. IPS, IDS monitor and or block malicious activities. Load balancers distribute traffic to prevent overloads and sensors detect unusual activities. Port security involves securing physical and network ports to prevent unauthorized access. Technologies like 802.1x for network access control and extensible authentication protocol, EAP for secure communication, are essential in enforcing port security. Firewalls are a cornerstone of network security. Web application firewalls, WAF, protect web applications. Unified threat management, UTM systems, combine several security functions, next generation firewalls, NGFW, offer advanced features like application awareness and Layer 4 Layer 7 firewalls filter traffic based on OSI model layers. In real-world scenarios, these principles come together to form a robust security posture. For example, a financial institution might use next-generation firewalls for deep packet inspection, 802.1x for network access control, and implement strict device placement policies for sensitive data processing systems. In conclusion, securing enterprise infrastructure involves a comprehensive approach encompassing various components and strategies. Understanding and correctly implementing these principles is key to protecting an organization's assets and data.